What's up, YouTube? Christian ain't ready for the video. Hey. <laughs> I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Michelle Hennix and Chrissy Ray, and we doing a video together. So. And it's not featuring on anyone's channel, so we can both upload it. That's called laziness. Wendy. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we got some really hot topics for y'all. No Wendy Williams. <laughs> How you We're gonna be talking about how long do you keep your relationship private? I would say from social media, I don't give it a set time, but I will wait, I personally will wait at least like minimum of three to four months. I think it's levels to this stuff, period. I keep my relationships private from friends and family until life circumstances just brings me to tell. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be like, Oh, come meet my dude unless it's something that requires you to meet him. You know what I'm saying? I've only introduced my family to like, I've only really had like two serious, serious relationships and I introduced my family to both of them obviously, but like with my last relationship, like he came over for spaghetti like after like five days. <laughs> I'm serious, I'm serious. Specifically spaghetti, thanks for um, Yeah, yes. like we had spaghetti and then we went to a basketball game. But that was literally at maybe like five, no, it was probably like two weeks. Okay, well growing up, my mom met every dude that picked me up because she would be like, he needs to knock on the door because you are a woman, he should respect you, he should come knock on the door and ask for you. So my mom met almost everybody. Um, my dad only met one person, but as an adult now that I don't live with my parents, um, you can I just freely. I just so. feel like no one needs to meet my family until it's a required time. Like, we're really in a I feel like unless you're literally considering like something serious. Like forever? Like for if you're considering forever, then yes. If you're not considering forever and it's just like a fun, casual dating experience, then you know, no. Like with my next relationship, I, I'm gonna wait a minute, like a long ass time. Okay, so with social media, what do you do? How long are you waiting? I don't, I don't like to like have different boyfriends on social media. Like I don't want people just seeing me in all these different relationships. It makes me feel vulnerable as a person. First of all, you don't even be in all these different relationships. So I don't, I don't. But that. just saying, cause I see other women and I'm not judging them at all, but they will put every single relationship they're in on social media. And it's just like, like is every, all these dudes or all these women are so important to you. Like every single one, like, like I feel like, like at that point you just like are in lust a lot. Agreed. Well, I'm not posting anybody on my social media, period, just because I built my social media, mainly my Instagram, to be like really professional. Yeah, that's true. And I branded it, and I don't want people to associate me being in a relationship with my brand because, like, that's just bringing like unnecessary drama. So then if we break up, people are more so focusing on yeah. why'd y'all break up than like what I'm posting, like what content I'm posting to support right. me. So I probably won't post, like, my followers are gonna think I'm single until I drop a wedding photo one day and they're gonna be like, Mary! <laughs> Especially cause like, I'm a mom and I don't wanna just be posting all these dudes or guys I'm dating or whatever, like, no. Like, you don't even have to, like, you have to be privileged. Like, that's a privilege for you to be on my social media. For real. So for, for me to post you is like, we're there. Yeah, for We're real. there, like, I feel some type of way about you. I feel like this could be forever. Um, and then as far as me and my family, same thing at this point. But when I was younger, it was just like, I, I like, fell in love fast with both my um, long-term relationships. So it was just like, meet my family. I don't feel bad about it though, cause I was like, my two long relationships, one was like from 20 to 24, 23, 24. And then the other one was from like, 24 to, 20 to 23. See, I'm a serial monogamous too. Mm, I'm bad with commitment. I like to just keep, I just like to be me. You know what I'm saying? I just like to be me and do my own be thing. Be free. And be on my own time. And like, I hate the question, like what are we question? I know at some point you have to discuss that. Yeah. But for me, it's like, I please don't ask me that. I, I've literally in my lifespan have only asked one dude, what are we? Cause I was just like, like we had been talking and chilling and kicking it, been cooking for him 
all types of stuff. And I'm just like, go. Cool. Cooking for him. Yes, and he told me. <laughs> cooking for him. This is so embarrassing. So I could, I, 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 my mom, like I didn't grow up in a house where my mom cooked for me. Like we literally stopped by McDonald's after volleyball practice. Like I literally ate fast food all the time. Chick-fil-A, like I don't understand how I'm not 300 pounds. <laughs> But this dude, I was in college and I cooked for him and I had made him like fried chicken, mac and cheese, you know, like the regular like little nice little soul food meal. And it wasn't until like not that long ago that he told me that he had to run to his roommates and be like, yo, she made this fried chicken and it's burnt on the outside and it's uncooked on the inside. So just be nice, okay? Just take bite to the end. And I, I'm just like so embarrassed from that. like. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't learn how to cook until He recently. said it was bloody on the inside and burnt on the outside. Sounds like my soul. I'm <laughs> yeah, no, but I keep my relationships oh my very, god. very, very private. Very private. I mean As you should. I my homegirls, you know, when you start to like like somebody and you're talking to them on a daily basis, I might drop in a little group text or whatever if it comes up like Oh, this is the dude I'm talking to now, or whatever. Like, this is who I have now. But so, do you ask your friends for their opinions on them, on your dude? Mm, not really. No. I mean, I'll I'll be like, y'all think he's cute, but most likely y'all gonna say yeah anyway. I feel like I just want to know what they think about him, just just so I can kind of have some feedback. I already have my I already obviously have my own opinion about whoever I'm dating, but like when I first bring him around, I want to know what y'all think. So, do you feel like your parents need to approve? Yeah, and I say that because, like, if 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 we're about to get married, and you still don't like this dude, then it's a problem because I need everything to be a family unit. But at the end of the day, when you're about to get married and spend your life with the with the person that you love, it's hard because if you love that person, you really want to spend the rest of your life with them. Unless my my parents have to hate you, and if they hate you, then there's something wrong with you. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I feel like I'm a hard-headed person and my parents don't have to approve well my first of all my dad is really easy going my dad is not gonna be in my business like if I introduce somebody to my dad and go this is my boyfriend he's gonna be like okay nice to meet you dude mm -hmm. like you know but you're grown you'll figure it out my mom will be cutthroat my mom will be like I don't like you like to your face like I don't like you my daughter's not gonna end up with you blah I blah blah, blah. I could definitely see and I don't necessarily listen to her at the time but then when we break up, every dude that my mom did not approve of, we ended, ended up breaking up, being, up, breaking yeah. up anyway. And I'm like, dang, my mom was right. Your parents just have that intuition though too because they know you. Like at the end of the day, they know you. Honestly, I, when it comes to my parents, if they hate you, it's probably a no-go. My mom just like everybody, so I could See, not, my, my parents I could not like base it off open. of my mom. My mom did not like anybody, I think. There's only two guys I ever dated that my mom liked. That was it, and it was so awkward. One of them, <laughs> I'll never forget. One time, me and this dude had broke up in high school, and we were about to move. So his mom came over to like help us pack or whatever, and brought her son with her, That's and awkward. and did not tell me that he was like coming with her. And the new guy I was dating was over my house to watch a football game with me. And then that is so my awkward. ex comes, and they're like coming with like Popeye's chicken or something like that, and like coming to help move. And I'm just like, so how did that go? It was just really awkward. And then we had sat in the kitchen and talked, me and my ex, while my current boo was like on the couch watching a football game. And, and he didn't care, or he was well. My ex away. like ended up leaving because it was like weird. That is weird. It was weird. It was like, why would you come here? Why would you bring your son? If you know, first of all, I don't know why they were trying to help us move in the first place. We was broken up, <laughs> but yeah, of course, all, the whole situation is just weird. At the end of the day, I do, I feel like I do want my parents' approval, but if I just feel like they're being unreasonable, then baby, we getting married, and that's just what it is. I love you. You love me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go with my mom's judgment. She have me with she. She. My mom likes all the dudes I ignore. There's somebody that I grew up that lives in New York, and she loves him. She calls that her son-in-law. And I do. That's I, annoying. I love him. He got a, a little place in my heart because we've known each other since we were like, like that, 13 like or whatever. But she loves him to death. And I'm just like, it's not <laughs> So the message we're trying to get across is keep your relationships to, to yourself. To <laughs> yourself. Your goddamn self.
Don't share with nobody. No. Don't post on social media. Like, don't tell your family. Don't just tell nobody. chill because you have to really get to know everything about that person. And when you're in the beginning phases, like the first like what three six months? months, six months. I feel like six months because the first three months is going to be like blissful. blissful. Then the second three months will you be start like, to notice a little okay, bit. Okay, but I still like them. I, yeah. And then after six months, you'll be like, dang, this person you don't want damn nerves. But I feel like it takes a full year to really get to know somebody. But the first six months is always gonna be amazing. Everything about the relationship, the intimacy, the connection, the dates, all that. The second yeah. three months, you might start to notice a couple red flags, but you're still gonna be like, oh, I really okay. like Okay, I, I will say the only reason why you should drop um, your dude in like a group text and ask your girls is because you need to get the whole back. Somebody, oh, yeah. somebody in your group text might know him. And dudes do it too. So collect the whole facts if you can. Be like, y'all know, yeah. know such and such. See who your mutual followers are on social media. If some of your homegirls follow him, you better be like. Girl, you gotta check. You gotta make sure because you don't you don't want to get that text like, girl, you know we used to. For you real. don't want that text, oh. especially after you like three to six months in. You're gonna be like, damn, like you're all, you're still yeah. in that phase where you're, you're already like, gonna be invested. Like, dang, yeah. well, too late now. Exactly. So I'm sorry. I hope you didn't like him that much. All right, yeah. So like we can take back what we said. What we're trying to say is only drop check in the whole facts. <laughs> only check the whole facts, but don't post on social media. Don't ask. Run the whole facts and then leave it at that. Like if he checks out for the whole facts, then you can continue talking to him. But those on the love. second three months are vital to start checking out those red flags and just keeping them in the back of your head. And then that third three months, like the nine month mark, is where I feel like. You should know. Oh, I will yeah. say too, don't necessarily keep this person a secret. Like, right. if you're going out on dates with them and somebody runs into y'all that you don't know, then you don't need like, to be like, oh, this is my friend. Yeah, like, like they, be real. You know, then, then they know they know because they like caught y'all. But don't go out broadcasting it until you're sure. Right. And it's not really so much about looking dumb, it's just about your personal privacy and just. Some things you gotta keep to yourself because nowadays in 2019 we don't keep shit to ourselves. And like, some people will hate on your share. relationship. That too. They will lie. They will be like, oh, he did such and such, and sometimes he did not. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes he did not. Sometimes he did. Because that might be such and such's cousin's ex boyfriend, and they trying to hold down their they cousin. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> the whole facts is important, and those first six months is important to really just keep things private. And and there's no time limit, just until you know. When you know, you know. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I could be in love, I'm still gonna keep my relationship private until I'm yeah. married. I'm not posting anything until y'all see one in photos. And y'all gonna be like, dang. I, I think wonder, I'm gonna do the same thing. I wonder how long she been with him. I'm like, yeah. 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going no 15 years to let wait till the nigga put a ring on your finger. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. What's the max, oh, this is the last question. What's the max amount of time you would go with somebody that you love to wait until they propose? Three years. That's good. Three years. I feel like in three years, you know whether or not you want to. We don't need to be married in three years. We need to be engaged, engaged within three, three years. Because you peripheral in a two years, you know if you want to be with that person forever, or if you're willing to fight to be with that person forever. After two years, you know you're engaged. You're like. I could see myself with that person. You either can or you can't. So yeah, I say three years is like a perfect time. And then marry within five. So like, and I don't even want to rush my engagement. I don't mind being engaged for two years. Being with somebody for like three years. Honestly. Engaged for like two years and then get married. You still got your whole life to be married. Having you been so there, wedding planning, take two years. It is whack. Like, I, I, got, I gotta have somebody do that shit for me. Like, I don't know, I'm planning my own wedding. I'm gonna be a bride to look for show. I didn't really. Uh, I might get married in a whole other country, and if you can't afford to come, I'm sorry. Then you just. Be <laughs> I want a small wedding though. I want like 60 people or less. I want it to be turned up, but if I have the right 60 people there, it's gonna be. I'm gonna like whoever whoever can make it can come. You know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in that. Bitch. And I'm gonna make sure I got open bar. I'm, a, I'm I can't get married till I got that bag. You no, exactly. Like I'm not having no no wedding with no open bar, especially me being who I am. It's gotta be. I might not even be drinking, but I that. still need the option. I'm not gonna get drunk because I want to remember my wedding night. That's fair. My honeymoon. That's another story. That's fair enough. But my wedding night, I want to remember every moment. All right, well, we dream it now, so. So, right, <laughs> let's just snap back into reality. You know how girls get sidetracked. <laughs> so, make sure you comment below. Tell us your thoughts on each question. How long do you keep your relationship private? Do you need your parents' approval? Do you search for the whole facts with your friends? And how long would you wait in a relationship till you get that ring? And make sure you subscribe to Michelle Hennix. Yeah. And with Chrissy Ray. <laughs>
This is our first video together, so don't blame us. Oh, there's more coming though, so be ready. Be ready. And we'll be better next time. We'll try. You know? Peace. I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. I would like to